Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. It's August the 1st and we're looking at 1 Corinthians and chapter 11. In this passage from verse 1 all the way through to verse 34, Paul is giving instructions to the Corinthian believers to follow his example. He says in verse 1, be ye followers of me even as I am also of Christ. And so we have this wonderful passage in which, first of all, he speaks about headship in the church, and then he speaks about the Lord's Supper. My password is not specific to either of these subjects. My password is in verse 23, where Paul says, I have received of the Lord that which also I have delivered unto you. And of course he then goes on to explain about the Lord's Supper. But the particular point I want us to think about is this. He says, I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you. There are lots of people, especially as a result of a passage like this, that say, oh, I don't like Paul, don't, don't listen to Paul, he's a hard man, doesn't like women, all sorts of silly, silly comments are made about him. Paul is not giving us his personal opinions. He's not just writing a, a, a letter to the Corinthians of stuff that he's made up. Occasionally he'll give his opinion, but he'll tell us if he's giving his opinion. In particular, he says, the things that I am speaking to you about they have been received personally from the Lord Jesus himself. And those things and those things alone I have delivered unto you. So often we hear of people who preach about things that men have made up. They preach about the doctrines of men. No matter how great and eminent those men might be, they are still the doctrines of men. What Paul brings to us is the doctrines of God. He brings to us those things that have been revealed to him by the Lord Jesus himself. And then as we saw in verse 1, he says, be ye followers of me, okay, even as I am also of Christ. Paul comes with great authority here. He's not second rate in any sense. He is a, a, an apostle of the Lord Jesus, a prophet of the Lord. His word is to be taken as read because the things that he teaches come directly from Jesus Christ. They don't come from the other apostles. And what he brings to us is the real true teaching of God's word. So let's have confidence in Paul. Let's not worry about anything that he says. Let's believe in him and let's take what he says as being what it is, the word of God. God bless you. Look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye for now.